you don't play, you don't play. How does that apply to what you do in your day to day? Because as a business coach, as a business yes. mentor, you work with organizations that have various problems. Mm. And so how do you navigate and help guide them through the process of identifying a problem and then resolving it? How does that how is that similar or dissimilar? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question, actually. So I do, um, as, so let's take, you know, when I talk about one-on-one -on -one coaching or when I do workshops um, within organizations, um, even in workshops within organizations, module number one is always like self-awareness based. It's always, you know, how is it, whether it's leadership, whether it's diversity, equity, and inclusion, it always starts with self, right? Understanding our own, how our own, how we show up as a default is really important in terms of creating change in your own personal journey because understanding what your brain's default pattern is and being able to pinpoint and make a decision about whether or not this is something that you want to focus on changing is really important because you know 80 to 90 percent of the time our brain is on autopilot so if we don't take the time to act or take the space to understand how we show up as a default understand what our triggers are understand what our brain's um you know natural inclinations are then we can't make a decision of whether whether to change it and i think that even in talking about diversity equity and inclusion training that we do with organizations you know we spend a lot of time on unconscious bias because the most dangerous thing that people can have can the most dangerous thing when it comes to unconscious bias is to say that you don't have biases because if you believe that there is nothing to be aware of, then there's no action. So awareness is step number one in terms of taking, in terms of acknowledgement and taking action.